Hey everybody, it's Brian from Bamboo Games here again, and uh, today I'm bringing- Oh, hold on, I'm glowing. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's too dark. Um, there, that's good. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Today I've got a another unboxing video, video for you guys, and today it's kind of the, the bread and butter of dedicated transport. Uh, you, you can probably guess it already. That's right. We've got a rhino. Um, do, gonna do a little bit of talking once I get it unboxed, but uh, for now, I'll just slide this over. And that looks like it's gonna be good. We'll take a look inside. So, pop off the top. There's the rhino. We can set this over there. Okay, so right on top, you've got the first sprue. In the first sprue, um, here's your hull. You've got the treads here as well, um, the side, the other side is on the other side of the sprue. Uh, I believe these are the two side doors. I'm not positive, but I believe that's what those are. Um, and then the back door, and, and then the top piece where you can mount something or however you want to do it. I'll probably magnetize, well, I, I'm not probably, I will be magnetizing so that way I can swap out things. I can play as a Razorback when I need to. Okay, the next sprue is some smaller bits. We have some of the, oh, my computer's lagging. We have some of the hatches on the top, as well as right there. And then we have the bits for the people poking out the top, if you want to play those, where the fire points are. So um, you've got some body here and here, shoulder pads, arms, and then here are the boulders. And then over here, just some of the different search lights and things like that that you can model on. So, pretty good stuff. I'm, I'm very happy with the detail in this sprue. Okay. And the last sprue, it's just three sprues, is very similar to the first sprue, except it's got another side and a side. And then more treads. And then the eagle, which is always nice detail. We've got the control panel on the inside. Oh, sorry guys, this is... Nope, that is right side up. Control panel on the inside. Uh, very detailed. Always, always, always paint this before you put it in the model. Because if you don't, it'll look terrible when you go try and paint it. Um, there's a little bit of flashing there I need to take off. I mean, some people decide not to paint the inside. I think it's great, because when you do get those doors open, you get to show off that, like, yes, I put the extra time in, and I painted the inside of my model. But that's just my personal opinion. And last but not least, we've got the bottom. You can see the floor on the inside, the grates. So that's that. Uh, right below both of those sprues, I mean, not both of those, all three of those sprues, we have the Rhino and Razorback instructions. Um, it's not too challenging of a kit. Um, I'm going to magnetize it, and I'm, when I say magnetize it, I mean magnetize everything. So that could be interesting. I might have to do a little bit of reference, but probably not. It's a fairly simple kit. If I can just show you some of the different pages. I don't know how well that's going to come out. Anyways, that's that. And then, on the very bottom, we've got two transfer sheets. And I'm actually surprised at how much they give you on the transfer sheets. Um, you have all your Ultramarines, Imperial Fist, Space Wolves, all the different decals. Um, you've also got your numbering along here, or whatever you're doing, and 
all your different like your symbols for the the, the caution stripes and things like that so very cool more eagle insignia for the imperium so cool stuff i'm i'm happy with the kit but yeah so it'll be fun to get that together i'm waiting on my magnets i placed an order from k and j magnets great great website you can get the magnets really cheap i'll put a link in the description below um but so now i'm just going to talk about the rhino a little bit and like i said it is the bread and butter of dedicated transport um when you think dedicated transport nine out of ten times the person you're talking to or well when you say it nine out of ten times the person you're talking to thinks rhino they don't think what's the necron one is it an annihilation barge no maybe i'm blanking out that's gonna bug me i'll look it up after um but i mean it really is and but the great thing with this and i did the, and i bought the rhino just because i wanted to go simple, I didn't need the extra stuff for right now. But if you ever do need a rhino, don't buy a rhino. Spend the extra five, six dollars, whatever it is, wherever you are, and get the Razorback. Because the Razorback is going to come with all the extra uh, bits. Plus, when you magnetize your rhino, magnetize your rhino. Trust me, you'll thank yourself for it. Also, it's a great first magnetization start. Um, but enough about that. I'll do a video once I get this built and that comes. Um, but once you magnetize your rhino, then you can easily swap it out from a rhino to a razorback. So most of the time, razorbacks aren't that helpful because of their small capacity. And r really, unless you've got a small squad, you're not going to use it. But when there's that one game where you play a command squad or a five-person tactical squad, where I've been bumping it up to eight or nine or ten, you're going to thank yourself for having the potential to add that heavy bolter or whatever you want to add on the top and make it a rhino, because that is going to, for the for the extra five points, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I said make it a rhino, make it a razorback, I'm just babbling, that's not even making any sense, but rhino's 35 points, the razorback's 40 points, it's clear if you don't have, if you don't need the full capabilities of the Rhino and its full passenger abilities, I don't know how you want to say that. Um, definitely go Razorback. It's just going to get you more, more, more bang for your buck. <laughs> if I want to be that cheesy, actually, I've got the codex right here. Um, I'll open it up to the page. Another thing, if you do take the Rhino instead of the Razorback, always. And even with the Razorback, always, always, always put on a dozer blade for those extra five points. I've never fielded a rhino without a dozer blade. I can't tell you how many times it's been it's come in handy. Um, it's just fantastic. Um, also, the extra armor on both the for the extra fifteen points. If you have the room, it's great. If you don't, it's not necessarily need needed. Um, just be smart with your playing, but both of them have ballistic skill four. Both of them have the same front side and rear armor eleven, eleven, and ten. Um, they both have the smoke launchers and the searchlight. The Razorback comes modeled with the twin linked heavy bolter, where the Rhino just has the storm bolter. But you can upgrade that twin linked heavy bolter for a twin linked heavy flamer, twin linked assault cannon, or a twin linked last cannon, or a last cannon and a twin-linked twin -linked plasma gun. Now, if you add that, that's an extra 35 points, and all of a sudden you just spent 75 points on a dedicated transport, and it might not be worth it to field that razor back anymore, but that's just possibilities. You never know. So, definitely, 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 my, my two things. One, if you want a rhino, buy a razor back. That's simple. And two, magnetize your vehicles it will save you so much time because six months from now when you decide to change your playing style completely you can do that you can go back and just swap 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 boom 
you can play in a completely different style. So, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video of the unboxing of the Space Marine Rhino. Please remember to comment what, what do you think of the Rhino kit. Do you agree with me? Buy the Razorback kit? Or do you have a different opinion on what you guys do? Um, what are your tips when it comes to magnetizing your vehicles? Pr mainly Space Marine vehicles, because that's what I was talking about in this video. But any vehicle, really. Um, if you liked this video and you want to see more unboxing videos, please like right there. Or, let's see, it would be right there. Maybe it's over there. I can't... I can't remember where it's located. One of these two areas. And please either check back very, 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 very often for more videos or subscribe right up there. Remember to, like I said, tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, what do you want to see more, and always check back for more terrain, painting, unboxing, and tactics videos. This is Brian from Bamo Games. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thanks for watching.